as a church we have different people that come through our doors and the community that we're in it's like a should we say a very deprived area unfortunately in Kensington so we saw that there was a need for food even though there are a few food a few food banks scattered around some of them actually are like food pantries where you have to pay maybe three pound fifty and some people can't afford it so we, we decided the pastor came up with the idea that we would start a food bank and we wouldn't charge we would do it free of cost and also it was in the time of the pandemic that it came about when it was the lockdown period and we found that there was an people there were people who couldn't get out of their homes to go shopping like they were the elderly or they were handicapped or disabled and some single mothers as well so we saw that need so we started to do food hampers and parcels and started to deliver within the community and also we feed the homeless within the town center as well so that's how it started off and for the future we hope to get more donations that you can donate via the website cghministry.com or you can find us on social media as well, Christian Gold House Ministry International. Also, you can pop in at 170 Kensington, Liverpool, with whatever donations you have. It would be greatly appreciated. Well, the food bank helps greatly in preventing food waste because it stops the food being wasted, thrown in the bin, the food going to landfills and things like that. So it's recycled to people who are less able to afford to go into the supermarkets or to buy them or if they're nearer to the end date they'll send it to the food bank and then we will supply it to those people who come so then it is being consumed within the food chain it's not being wasted in landfills or being thrown so the advice i would give to women from ethnic minority background is to be more economically friendly or be more aware of food wastage and sometimes people like to like not eat or reuse food from the previous day. Just freeze it because food have a lifespan of like three days that is quite safe to still use. So they need to be or we need to like have them educated more on this and have them preserving or saving and reusing food. Also sharing amongst each other. We can do like, you know, like we do in the older days you could bring your potatoes if you've got too many i can give you some tomatoes or some tomatoes tomato tomatoes or you know like exchange food like that and also get more aware on climate change get more education on it and learn how to join in with campaigners and how we can help to educate our children as well on preserving food and then preserving the climate and then preserving the planet. It has been a campaign run by <coughs> black and ethnic minorities for years, but it might be shown more where like the more white middle class campaigns that are run are more like the media picks up on those more. So it seems as if they are not involved, but they are involved in a big way as well. Maybe those people that are canvassing, they're not sometimes canvassing in the grassroots communities as well. So maybe that's why it would be portrayed in that manner. But I do think black and ethnic minorities do campaign for climate change and they do care about the climate just as much as everyone else. I think the COP26, um, conference that was just held in Glasgow. I think it's a good thing. People might have other opinions and they might be saying, okay, we've waited this long and they've not been doing anything, not been taking things seriously. But I do think better late than never. And I think it's brought about great awareness of this <laughs> dire situation. It affects everyone. So everyone has to now sit up and realize, you know, and change your way of thinking and your way of living. Mm -hmm.